What's up everybody, I'm Jesse Showalter and I'm really excited to share a new tool that I've been using lately that helps me save a ton of time. Time is my most precious commodity. I can always make more money, but I can't make more time. So when I find something that helps me save time, that thing becomes my new friend. I've been designing for close to a decade. I love what I do and I'm also slightly decent at what I do. But the biggest thing is I can do what I do 10 times faster than I used to be able to do it. But something that happens to me every single time, a huge problem is after I'm done designing my responsibility, then I always have to present it in some way, shape or form. What I've realized is that every time I go to create presentational items, it takes me 10 times longer than it did to do the actual designs themselves. This is a problem because time is money. Time is valuable. On top of that, there's plenty of people and teams and groups out there that don't have a dedicated full-time designer like me that have access to design software and the hours to put in to output presentational pieces for or the actual product itself. Sometimes it's just not possible. So what do you do if you're a person who doesn't have access to a designer or design tools or the time or the energy to figure out how to make these presentational elements? What do I do since it's taking me like 10 times too long to do it? I need to find a solution and I found that solution. And that solution, that new friend of mine is called Placeit. Placeit is an awesome product that allows you to log in online, search and find the exact type of mockups that you're looking for, upload your designs and in seconds have like this seamless perfect mockup that you can then download and put into your project in a fraction of the time that would have taken you to do that. The variety of what's available is amazing and the ability to customize it is like a phenomenal. And so I wanted to take a second and show you a little bit about how to use Placeit and how to integrate it into your workflow. Let's do it. Okay, let's dive right in. You can see on my screen, I have three different screens that are designed for concept travel app and I'm going to go ahead and export each of those screens out because I need some presentational kind of pieces to show off this work. I don't want to just show it like this. I want to show it pretty spicy. And then I'm going to open up my browser and I'm going to type in placeit.net. You can see right off the bat, it says smart templates make design easy. And that's true. You know, they have lots of stuff. They have logos and mockups and videos and, you know, pre-made designs. And those things are great. I'm not necessarily interested in those things. What really concerns me is the devices. So you can see we have some devices displayed here and you can go down and look at the different things they have or scroll right up to the top and roll over mockups and you can see that's what we want. We want some of these mockups. And what I really want is some iPhones. So I'm going to click on iPhones and it's going to take me to basically what feels like a stock photography like searching or filtering kind of interface where right away you can just see like there is tons tons of options here, tons of variety. I'm going to challenge myself to find three different mockups and get my stuff or my designs inside of those mockups. Number one, I want something with a transparent background phone only so I can use it how I see fit. Number two, it'd be nice to have something that has a little bit of color, like it's been staged, like I don't have the ability to like shoot that here. So I want something that looks like a little bit more produced. And then lastly, I want something that has a person in it so I can kind of display them as my core demographic. So I'm just going to go up here and do a quick search for maybe like iPhone 10 and let's see what we come up with. Okay. So it's gone out and it's searched for, you know, iPhone 10 and look at all the options I have, like legitimately, like there's so much I could choose from right there. I don't even feel like I have to scroll to the next page. So let's just check and see what we got. Um, we have this really nice, you know, regular like flat view or we have this awesome like uh, isometric or kind of like angled view. I'm going to open up both of those. Like let's, let's see what both of those look like. And then as far as something with a little bit of color, um, I'm kind of liking this one, this iPhone 10 on the torn paper, but I kind of like this one too. And I think as I scroll over, it shows me like maybe even the colors are customizable on some of these, which is awesome. And then look right over here, like maybe this is my core demographic, like a guy eating Cheetos looking for a ticket to travel. So I'm going to get that guy as well. But let's say we got everything we came for. Let's go look and see what we found. 
I'm gonna click over to our first tab. I wanna see how this whole system kind of works. I wanna show you, because it's really, really simple. I have an iPhone 10 here, black, really, really nice. Um, and it says that I need to upload an image or I can also go from a URL, which is kind of nice as well. Um, I'm gonna go with the image since I already have that. And right off the bat, I think it's really like important to point out, it says $8 or free using an unlimited subscription. So it's eight bucks if I wanna get this mock-up made, or I could sign up for $29, it says up here, for an unlimited subscription. I think maybe that's monthly, and that's cool, because, I mean, if I was to do all four of these, like I found this one, this angled one, this the Cheeto man, and then my nice dual color, if I was to do all of that, eight, 16, 24, it's more than $29. I'm bad at math, but I know that that's more than $29. Now, here's the real question before I even get started with this. Is this worth my money? Well, it might be because I'm a firm believer that time is money. That's the most important thing that I have. Currency to spend is time. So let's see if this actually saves me time and then we'll decide if it's worth the money. So I'm going to go to upload image and I'm going to search on my desktop and let's go for the login screen for this one. See, it's gonna give me some areas to crop, okay? So we've gone ahead and just kind of fit my designs in there. And it even gives you the option to kind of customize things and crop after the fact, so that's nice. And bam, my design is instantly inside of there. That's really, really nice. There's also some options up here to go like portrait position and kind of filter down again. And I can download this right now if I want. Let's click over here. Let's see if it's the same for this guy. Let's go to the detail shot. I mean, that's literally like two seconds and I'm just gonna press crop and it's another 1001, 1002. That's like a total of four seconds and I just made myself a mock-up. Starting to think it's worth it, right? Okay. Let's go for the detail shot. Let's go for the detail shot. And it's inside. Now here's where it gets really cool. Let's say orange and blue are not my brand colors. Obviously inside my design, I'm using some blues, a lot of whites, maybe some neutral creams. So let's see if I can kind of replicate my brand colors inside of this bad boy. Maybe we can knock it down just a little bit. Oh, that's kind of nice. Or maybe I do like the really bright kind of blue color. So I was just able to, I think with like under a minute, I might be wrong, but under a minute, I was able to make four different mock-ups of my application. And I was even able to customize and brand it to my colors. And now all I got to do is download them. So I've already signed up for an account. I'm going to go ahead and download these bad boys. Okay, so now I've downloaded it. Last thing there really is to do is go uh, see what it looks like. So I'm going to open up my sketch project and let's see it. There it is on my desktop. I downloaded it. And here is a beautiful mock-up. Now I can take this and throw this into a landing page, into an investor deck, or into any other presentational materials I need to, and it only took me a few minutes. I, mind blown, mind blown. I will now, for your viewing pleasure, try to do this the old way, which is go out and find a mock-up and do it through the whole design process, and I'm gonna clock it and give you an honest judgment of how much time it took me to do it and all that kind of stuff. Let's do it right now. there it is. I think that probably took me about 10 to 12 minutes to do just that one mock-up. And the reason is because every site I went to either required me to input my you know, email to get like the free download or they wanted me to pay for like a whole kit of things that maybe I didn't need or at, some of them led to dead ends and sketchy Dropbox downloads and the whole experience just wasn't really, really nice and that's another place I really think like something like place it really steps up and it just makes it a nice experience. I search really seamlessly, find what I want, customize it, upload my stuff, download them all and I'm all in, I'm all done. 
And the great thing is, you know, especially if I had to do not just one, but five, 10, 20, if I had to do like an investor deck and a presentation and put these on my corpse site or the website and want to put these in my portfolio and I needed six or seven or 10 or 15 or 20 different mock-ups, imagine timesing 20 by 12 to 15 minutes a piece and having to put my email in every single time, the amount of spam, the amount of trouble and issues and frustration that causes me, the amount of dead ends and dead links and unkept kind of documents, as well as the fact that I happen to own Photoshop, which I pay for a monthly subscription to Photoshop to be able to open up a lot of these. And it doesn't matter where you go, you're always, it, it doesn't, even if it's a cheaper software, like something like Affinity Photo or Sketch, it's still requires that you're paying for these licenses to these other softwares you got to take that into account too so it's a pretty sweet deal to pay eight bucks a piece or 29 for all you can eat and just get everything you need in one sitting it's worth it to me because I just care about my time I hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel I make lots of videos about design so maybe stick around if you have any questions, leave them down in the comments and check the description for the link that goes out to place it so you can try it yourself. I hope you guys are having an amazing week designing amazing things, making amazing things, and using smart tools to save you time. I'll see you in the next one.